Morning, Bailey. Welcome back. In Denver's uptown neighborhood, familiar faces 21st. are around every corner. It's the block down. That's what happens when every Sunday is spent here. No, I don't have a recycling bag together yet. Ian Thomas Tafoya speaks with his actions. Every Sunday, he holds himself accountable to give those on Denver streets a little compassion. The people who live in this campments, you know, sometimes they feel really overwhelmed. You know, you try to get your trash in one place. If you don't get service, it doesn't get picked up. The animals get into it. I don't think really anybody wants to live this way. The lack of sanitation is not working for anyone. Tafoya founded the Headwater Protectors, a nonprofit group that provides trash services and clean water to those experiencing homelessness. They meet at Benedict Fountain Park for a reason. We call it Benedict No Fountain Park. There hasn't been water running in here a long time, and we think it symbolizes the lack of access to water and sanitation in our city. And we've come here with indigenous leaders actually to do prayers, uh, hopefully to bring water back here and to bring water to everyone. Do you want some bags? This group knows. Of course. They won't solve all of the city's problems, but with each pickup, something changes. People change. Shaheem Temple is one of them. Yes, I've lived out here before. Shai was visiting a friend at his old camp when he decided to pick up a trash bag. But to see random people at Tudor who don't even know people out here doing the same thing at Tudor, of course, that inspired me. That's what I want to see more of the world do. Compassion does not have to be fleeting. Hey, folks, is anybody home? It can be as familiar as the faces. Hey, Bailey. High five. That spend every single week carrying it. Jalisa Rosari, Nine News. Headwater Protectors goes out every Sunday morning. Since they started back in 2020, they've trained more than 550 volunteers to help out whenever they can.